problem is on functions of complex variables and now in this video we have to determine the analytic function whose real part is given as cos x plus cos hy see here the real part is given so the real part is nothing but u so u is given as cos x into cos hy and we have to determine the analytic function so first of all i am going to make a derivative with respect to x so this is dou u by dou x so with respect to x cos x will be minus sin x and again this is cos hy and if i make a derivative with respect to y this is dou u by dou y so cos x will be as it is and cos y for cos hx the derivative is sin hy and see we have to find the analytic function now i am going to use milnes thompson method so according to the milnes thompson method it's very easy to solve so according to the milnes thompson method so we have f of z is equal to as you know that f of z is equal to f of z is nothing but u plus i into v so if i make a derivative with respect to x that is f dash of uh, z is equal to this is dou u by dou x plus i times of this is dou v by dou x now what is given the real part is given so i have to transform this imaginary part into real part and so i am using cr equations so using cr equations see here so we have cr equations as dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y and next ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx dou v by dou x so in place of dou v by dou x i can write minus dou u by dou y so just i am going to transform this as f dash of z is equal to this is dou u by dou x in place of dou v by dou x i am writing minus dou u by dou y and already there is i here so i have both the values ready so dou u by dou x value is ready as minus sin x cos hy and dou u by dou y value is ready as cos x sin hy now i am going to substitute that so if i go substitute all these values then f dash of z is equal to what is dou u by dou x so this is nothing but minus sin x into cos hy and what is dou u by dou y dou y value is nothing but minus i times of see here minus i times of this is cos x into sin hy so after substituting both the values from here and see if it's a milnes thompson method in milnes thompson method so we have to replace so replace x by z and y by 0 so in place of z i am going to write in place of x i am going to write z and in place of y i am going to write 0 so f dash of z is equal to this is minus sin z and cos 0 is 1 minus i times of cos 0 is 1 and this is going to become sin hz so 0 so this is sin 0 is again 0 so what remains here only minus sin z so f dash of z is equal to this is minus sin z and if i take uh, integration on both sides see here if i make an integration that is integral f dash of z into dz is equal to this is integral minus sin z into dz then what happens here so in this case for sin z it is nothing but so for integration it is nothing but minus cos minus cos therefore f of z value is equal to f of z value is equal to this is minus of minus this value is cos z plus c see here f of z value is nothing but cos z so this is the analytic function which is asked in the question to show that so what is this this is the analytic function so this is nothing but the analytic function so this is how we have to solve and this is so simple with these two simple steps we can get the analytic function see here determine the analytic function if the real part is given as so what is this real part u is given as cos x cos hy i have to make a derivative with respect to x and with respect to y and from millie thompson method so we have uh, f of z is equal to u plus iv if i make a derivative throughout the equation with respect to x see here there is v here there is imaginary part so only real part is given so i have to transform this v into u so using cr equations dou v by dou x value is nothing but minus dou u by dou y so in place of dou v by dou x i wrote minus dou u by dou y so dou u by dou x value is this 
and do u by do a value is this one so after substituting i have to replace x by z and y by 0 and see here after substituting x by z and y by 0 so only minus sign z remained so here after integrating on both sides with respect to z so f of z value is nothing but cos z and this is the analytic function so this is how we have to find out using millis sums and method and thank you have a look at my next video too thank you so much